Alright, what's going on guys? Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans gameplay commentary and today we are doing a war recap for our family clan proud gamers. So I know that I don't post a lot of videos about my second clan and our family clan but here's a video for them and honestly this clan's a beast. I'm actually very glad I've made a family clan because they are extremely good and they have some very loyal people so obviously the reason I made a second clan is um, my first main clan is get is pretty full usually at the most times and people don't meet the requirements so this proud gamers is a our family clan and if you are above level 60 and you're a pretty good player you should be able to join just fine but anyway so kicking off with this war this is killer 2 the leader um, I think killer 2 and ace um, switch off leaders but they are pretty loyal people so anyway killer 2 is going in with a Lavunian strategy he carried two lava hounds, a lot of um, balloons, and a couple of minions. Um, I used to actually use low union, and it's a good strategy um, if you're not facing like level seven, eight air defenses. So overall, this was a nice three star. Obviously, this town hall ten was rushed, and I think this is one of their top players against the clan. So they were going against G Force, and my second account is in this clan. So anyway, this second one is actually a defender by mr kfc um, is our defender and the attacker is mary so looks like max giants on this base is not gonna happen um this looks like kind of a town hall 8 um, cams base um clash with cams troll base but except it's a town hall 7 edition and honestly this base definitely did defense so looks like it's gonna be easy to get inside the core and just destroy the town hall maybe lay a few traps but actually you are once you get inside the core like everything's shooting in you so or at least I should say at you so this player really stood no chance once he wasted all the troops inside the core now if this player would have sent the troops outside the core looks like the hog riders did a very good job and outside the core he would have probably got a two I mean a one star um, I don't think he would have reached the town hall but Mr. KFC you have a good base and they have uh, proud gamers have really good people in this clan so this next one is by Brian, and um, I don't, I'm not sure who Brian is. He, I don't know if he talks a lot or anything, but um, surprising how I wouldn't say they're inactive. They're pretty active, but it's not like crazy. Everybody um, talks every day. Um, most people actually don't really say something in the chat, but at the same time, we really do kick butt in war, and it's amazing to show that a clan, even if a clan is inactive or anything, doesn't talk much doesn't assume that they are terrible in war or anything um, I gotta give you know props to my family clan they really do try in war and um, they do attack a lot so on my second account like I said is in there I really don't play on it much I mean I get out in once in a while and collect the you know resources and stuff but um, and maybe do a one war attack or something like that for a three star or a two star but um, usually we have really good people to attack in war so and also, proud gamers face extremely easy clans um, in war. Trust me, guys, they <laughs> face much easier clans than our main clan does. Our main clan faces pretty tough clans usually in war. Um, so anyway, yeah, the second attack is by Brian, like I said, and this was actually a pretty clutch three star. So the wizard tower is going to lock onto the king, and looks like there's really nothing to destroy the minions but that archer tower, which is locked locked onto the king. And yeah, so any nothing's gonna destroy, and he had like 20 minions alive, so uh, that was a good raid. But anyway, the last one is by Moha Blade, um, another member in our clan. And I was just looking at this replay, and I was just going like, wait a second, I gotta watch this again because he sends two golems, a couple of wizards, and like a minute and a half later, his whole this half of the base gets destroyed, and I'm like, whoa, w wait a second. Um, basically what happened actually what Muhammad I mean Moha Blade did was he sent in his um, heroes from the side and a couple of wizards to support them so the queen and the king are on the right side if you guys can see him in the bottom corner um, but I focus more on the inside you know the core that wizards and golems are so this was a nice uh, very good attack by Moha Blade so good job bro if you're watching this video from Proud Gamers um, good attack I think this he carried a Go wee wee attack, yeah, yeah, it's a go wee wee attack. So good job, bro. Um, anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this uh, recap video. Um, I'll show the score towards the very end. But proud gamers did a very good job in the war. They actually won 
there's for the last I think couple of wars for sure and they just destroy so um, good job proud gamers we have to face a lot of tougher clans and one day we're gonna face them uh, face our family clan and trust me our main clan will destroy their family clan but hey I'm not gonna smack talk about it so anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys do leave a like comment and subscribe if you could smash 40 likes for this video that'd be awesome and as always i'll see you all on the next video and look and the score is 80 to 39 i'm going to show the warlock in just a sec